I'm John Williams with another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest. Remember that old song, get your motor running, head out on the highway looking for adventure? Well, this time it's a scenic adventure as we take a trip along the Mount Hood National Scenic Byway. So get your motor running. Whether you begin in Troutdale or Hood River, this 105 mile day trip is like driving into a postcard. For this trip, we'll begin in Hood River, recently dubbed the windsurfing capital of the world. We began by heading south on Highway 35 out of Hood River. Nature's bounty fills the countryside as we pass through a section of the Hood River County Fruit Loop. The Fruit Loop is a 35 mile loop circling through orchards, wineries, fruit stands, and spectacular views, definitely worth the extra time. It's hard not to stare at the mountain, but keep your eyes on the road. There are plenty of pullouts along the way to absorb the scenery. Just after Meadows Ski Area, we'll hook up with remnants of the old Barlow Road. The Barlow Road was the first road connecting east to west over Mount Hood, completed in 1846. It's a short distance, but long on scenery. Just past the interpretive signs, look for the Pioneer Woman's Grave, a memorial to a woman who died along the Oregon Trail, and to all pioneers who struggled for a new life in Oregon. Merging with Highway 26 heading west, Timberline Lodge is a short six mile drive from here. The U.S. Forest Service has made many improvements to the lodge in terms of accessibility. A short drive from Timberline Lodge, it's Government Camp. Ever wonder how Government Camp got its name? Well, in 1849, a small command of U.S. Army soldiers had to abandon their wagons here because the Barlow Road was so rough and treacherous. It took a terrible toll on man and beast alike. Well, settlers using the road would pass by the abandoned wagons and simply call the spot Government Camp. In the 1930s, it was used as a camp for construction crews who built Timberline Lodge. At the Mount Hood Cultural Center and Museum, learn about natural history and early exploration. Continuing west down the mountain, small communities and businesses known as the Villages of Mount Hood offer the flavor of mountain living and hospitality. This is John's Rudd viewpoint on Bluff Road near Sandy, Oregon. Stroll the brickway paths. Look up close through the telescope at the mountain and the Sandy River below. You can almost see the pioneers coming through on the Oregon Trail. Our trip concludes in Troutdale, where there's restaurants, antique shops, even an outlet mall. Or you may want to continue along the historic Columbia River Highway. Be sure to see all of our videos about the historic highway, including Multnomah Falls, right here. Along the Mount Hood National Scenic Byway, I'm John Williams. I'll see you next time.